I want to talk to you today about uh, an ability that you can develop and it's something that will change your life. I'm working with a few people at the moment on procrastination and trying to show them the importance of letting go of control over secondary goals in their life. So really our, our, ten our attention now is simplifying life because if we if we have any feeling in life that things are complicated there's a million moving parts i have to take care of all these different aspects in my life what's going to happen is the nervous system gets completely overwhelmed and then we shut down we freeze and we stop taking we stop doing anything and that's because we feel we need to control all the minute details of things what we are capable of doing is one thing and only one thing so I get my clients to focus on pick that one thing that big important thing that I always tell them identify that thing by saying to yourself what is it that if at the end of the day I haven't made some progress in I'll feel most disappointed or most frustrated that's your thing okay so you can be super focused on that you can you can think about that strategize about that thing and take care of that one thing so that at the end of your day, you're making consistent progress in that thing. But here's the superpower, and it's a very subtle thing. Outside of that time, when we have clear boundaries with it, and you have put that thing down, you've addressed it, it's done, it's ticked off the list, and now you're in a part of your day in which, well, that's not happening anymore. That's, that's finished, and now there's something else. This part of your day has to be completely unstructured. There can be no rules, no have-to-do items. And that's what many people I work with are struggling with. If you can let go of control around that, you will find that you will keep consistency in the one thing that you're primarily focused on. But if you start to really get into now your free unstructured time away from that, you're going to get into problems. Your nervous system is going to shut down. The idea really, ideally, this is the way I explain it to people. Your number one goal, you're, you're making progress in it, you're engaging with it, and the, the feeling of, of accomplishment from that thing, daily progress with that thing, should bleed over into the rest of your life, in which you're feeling better about yourself in general, and feeling more open to doing things that you enjoy. Now that could be secondary goals, it could be your hobbies, it could be spending time with your family. It could be, now obviously spending time with your family is really a, a, a fundamentally important goal, right? I'm not saying that's a secondary value. Um, but what I am saying is just in terms of to-do lists and things. It could be hobbies you have, right? Anything outside of that. If you now start to control all those secondary aspects, they won't work. So what we do is we have preferences. We're allowed to have preferences for, for things. We're allowed to, to want to take these secondary things to go well. But if we micromanage too much in this time, in our unstructured time part of the day, the nervous system shuts down. Okay, so I kind of get them to do an experiment on it. I get them to, to, to analyze, well, what happened today when you did feel like you had to exercise or you had to spend time with, the, with your kids or play with your kids or you had to spend time on your hobby and you had to do this and that secondary from, from your main goal. And they look at it and say, well, I didn't do anything. Or I had a fight with my partner. Right? It's all sorts of, of uh, catastrophes take place and no progress. Whereas if they're able to say, look, I have no goal now other than to just relax and be open to whatever I feel like doing. If you can let go of it, if you can let go of taking these things off your list and making, get, having five or six things to do on your to-do to list, let go of that. And now analyze what happened at the end of the day. Well, I had a beautiful time with my kids. I had a lovely dinner with my family. I felt like going for a walk. I went for a walk. It was really nice. Um, watched a movie. But things are happening in these secondary goals without any need for control over them. It's the need. It's the controlling sub-personality that we fall into that will get us into problems. And it's a practice. It's a letting go. You can still be super focused and unidimensional and narrow-minded, if you like, on one thing and controlling on that one thing. But there has to be a part of your day in which you are not like that. Your nervous system needs to rest, okay? And if you give it the rest and go with your nervous system rather than fight against it all the time, 
you will see huge, huge benefits to doing that. So that's what we're working on at the moment with a few people. Um, and it's not that we're working on it. We're actually just analyzing what's happened. And we're just coming to terms with the fact that there's no denying it. When we let go of control, things work out. Um, so that is the takeaway message from this video. You can be unidimensional, focused, but have a boundary with it and allow yourself to have no rules at certain periods in your day. And then watch what happens. And I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised and you'll feel a lot more relaxed and uh, more, more good things will happen. I hope that was helpful and uh, take care of yourself. Bye for now.